You know those cringy LinkedIn posts? The ones that are long and they think the company that the person worked at for all of the years that they've given them and they talk about their mentors and blah, blah, blah. And like two paragraphs later, they tell you where they're gonna go work next. Those flood my feed these days and they seem really formulaic. Side note, I'm starting to see more for people who have worked like 12 months at a company. I think the lowest I've seen was nine months. Someone wrote one of these thank you goodbyes and said like, the last nine months have been transformational. And it's like, that's too short for these. We need to put some sort of bottom limit on how long. Anyway, the goodbye email can be great. And a goodbye LinkedIn post can be fine. It's just right now they all seem cookie cutter and the same. So I'm gonna read you an example of a really cookie cutter thank you goodbye LinkedIn post. So this is a little bit of like a goodbye email that you would write, but it's also something that you could see, you get the gist of someone posting this on LinkedIn. And spoiler alert, no one wrote this. This was ChatGPT. I asked ChatGPT to write me a generic LinkedIn post for someone and they did a pretty good job. So that got me thinking, what if a really honest, no BS author came in and took a crack at writing a goodbye, thank you goodbye LinkedIn post? And of course, when I think short, concise, truthful, deep, I think Ernest Hemingway. So knowing that ChatGPT could pull this off for the layman, uh, I asked ChatGPT to write me a goodbye post for Ernest Hemingway. And so let's see how Ernest Hemingway would sign off from his company. May we never forget the strength we found in unity. With unwavering resolve and deep gratitude, Ernest Hemingway. Now that's something. That is quite the thank you goodbye note on LinkedIn. I don't know if it's effective. I don't know if I'd post it. But you have to applaud the effort. So this got me thinking. You know, the, the average person when they do one of these thank you goodbye notes would never sell out a bad manager. And we've all had really bad managers. So I was thinking, I put into the prompt, you know, let's assume ChatGPT uh, that Ernest had a really bad experience with one of his managers. And then I just pressed enter and decided, let's see what ChatGPT comes back with. So I will say that the whole note is the same, but there is this added paragraph. So. The nice thing about Ernest Hemingway's honesty is he's not taking BS. So if there is a manager that really stepped on his toes, they're gonna get flanked on LinkedIn. And let's find the paragraph here, uh, tempered by the crucible of war. Oh, here we are, okay. However, I cannot overlook the shadow cast by my manager, Mr. Algernon Worthington. The sting of his be deceit and betrayal lingers. As I recall the day he falsely claimed credit for a hand hard won deal that I had closed, a single example among many of his duplicitous nature. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, Sting's pretty good. Again, I don't know if I would do this, and I think that this is probably worse than the average post on LinkedIn, but long story short, at least this changes things up a little bit from what we're seeing day after day after day on LinkedIn. So. All I'm saying, and one of my friends does this incredibly well, if you're really gonna go that route of thanking everyone and mentorship and whatever, make it a little spicy so that people who are viewing this, like the rest of us, get a little kick out of what you've done instead of the same old cookie cutter, thank you, goodbye. And on that note, if you enjoyed this and you wanna talk more serious business topics, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.